The Paternoster is a continuous elevator that consists of linked doorless compartments that move continuously on an endless belt. Passengers can get in or out of the Paternoster at any floor. The Paternoster is named after the Latin word for Our Father because each elevator car in the loop is reimagined as a rosary bead that is used in reciting a prayer. If you are new to this channel, just hit the subscribe button for free. Construction of new paternosters stopped around 1975 due to safety concerns. However, public sentiment has kept many of the remaining paternosters open. Most of them are in Europe, with 230 in Germany and 68 in Czech Republic. Malaysia, Sri Lanka, and Peru are the only non-European countries that have a paternoster. A British architect named Peter Ellis obtained a patent in July 1866 for a mechanical elevator with two shafts. He subsequently installed the first paternosters at Oriel Chambers in Liverpool in 1868. His patent expired in July 1873. Another patent was used in 1876 to transport parcels at the General Post Office in London. In 1878, a British engineer named Frederick Hart obtained a Paternoster patent. Six years later, the engineering firm called J&E Hall of Dartford in Kent installed a cyclic elevator using Frederick Hart's patent at a London office block. Hamburg also inaugurated a Paternoster in 1886. This was the first steam-powered one outside of Great Britain. The highest paternoster in the world used to be in Stuttgart at the 16-story Tagblatt Tower that was completed in 1927. Paternosters were popular from 1901 to 1950 because they could carry more passengers than conventional elevators. They were more common in mainland Europe than in the United Kingdom. They are relatively slow elevators that travel between 20 and 45 centimeters per second to facilitate the loading and unloading of passengers. It's a passenger lift with no doors, no buttons, and no stopping. So how does it work? It's a cyclic lift that continuously rotates with each cabin suspended like the seats on a ferris wheel. As it moves up, the lift shaft is locked into side rails, then detaches as it goes over the top, swinging free until it locks into the rails in the down shaft. It's safe to travel over the top or around the bottom, but shake it too hard and you can stall the lift and get stuck. And much like train spotting, the Paternoster's unique engineering has its devotees. Graham Paternosters are only for transporting people. Accidents have occurred when they have transported large items like ladders or library trolleys. Their accident rates are 30 times as much as conventional elevators. The construction of new paternosters is no longer permitted in many countries. In 2012, an 81-year-old man got killed in the hag when he fell into a paternoster shaft. Senior citizens, disabled people, and children are the most vulnerable passengers.
In September 1975, a Pater Noster at Newcastle University was temporarily suspended of its service when a car passenger got killed. The car left its guide rail at the ceiling of its journey. This forced the two cars ascending behind it to get into the winding room above. Thirteen years and a month later, a second fatal accident occurred at the same Paternoster. In West Germany, installing new paternosters was banned in 1974. Two decades later, there was an attempt to shut down all existing paternosters. However, there was a popular resistance to the prohibition. As of 2015, Germany had 231 paternosters.